हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अभिपीडिया पावर्ड बाय अभिमन्यु आई दिस इज फिफ्टीन लेक्चर ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक वैल्यू एडिशन सीरीज विद डॉक्टर वे कराना एंड आई एम बैक विद अनदर लेक्चर ऑन स्पेस लाइक अवर लास्ट लेक्चर दिस थीम इज इन न्यूज एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट एवर मिशन इन विच ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इन विच अ कम्युनिकेशन सेटेलाइट हैज बीन सक्सेसफुली प्लेस्ड इन इट्स ऑर्बिट so this mission is quite uh, different from the ones we had earlier covered because this is not sent by uh, isro from its typical launch pad since the satellite was a communication and had to be placed in geosynchronous orbit so this one is a little different from the earlier one so i will be discussing how you should cover this current affair what are the major themes or basic foundation topics on which you should note uh, from the newspaper and eventually what are the additional themes which can be covered from this uh, theme and uh, and we like always we will practice one question on the gsat 30 mission because since is the first major current affair of space from uh, from january 2020 so there such themes can be asked in upsc prelims uh, which is scheduled in may so first of all what all things you should cover from from gs gsat 30 news as we cover as we are covered in our pslv missions first of all we have to know the launch site of the mission the launch site is not the same uh, shri hari kota this time it's from french guiana there is a specific location called koru it's in south america if you will see the map you will see its proximity to equator and this is the reason why whenever geostationary or geosynchronous satellites are to be placed this uh, is the place from which satellites have been launched and this is not the first time that the satellite is being sent it has a long history which i'll just uh, highlight you once uh, we are uh, we are concluding this lecture so here make sure you do not jump to the gun and take this launch site for granted so here french guiana koru you should note it down then coming to the launch vehicle and once again you should clearly understand that this is not an indian uh, mission this was sent by ariane 5 launch vehicle and ariane as you can see it's not an indian name indian launch vehicles are pslv or gslv mark series which we had covered here there is a ariane it's a european space consortium vehicle which periodically is in news and this is what you have to just jot down in the second category then comes the number of satellites even though it's not a isro mission but still you should be have a rough idea that how many satellites were sent in this particular mission by ariane rocket so since the communication satellites are quite heavy so only two satellites were sent the one which we are currently covering the gsat one is a indian one and there is another european uh, satellite which is sent the name of which is eu telsat connect as the name is so it automatically is highlighting its role european union telecommunication satellite Okay, so even though uh, ups is likely to ignore such themes but sh still you should be familiar that communication satellites are what which this rocket is known for carrying and our gslv mark 3 will be doing the same in the recent months then you have to cover the gsat 30 which is the main theme of our lecture in qualitatively first of all you should be thorough that what is the nature of satellite whether it's a remote sensing satellite whether it's a navigation or a communication one so gsat series insat series are all communication satellites the so, uh, only update which you have to do is that it's described as high powered communication satellite since it will be providing advanced communication services so applications are on familiar lines it will provide the direct telecommunication services there is a high definition television services apart from broadcasting facilities and the highlight is that these services can be extended for vsat networks that is very small aperture networks which are used in atms in even uh, it can be also used for connecting rural areas and providing the various telecommunication services which will 
further improve our connectivity with the rural masses and also various e-governance models will get boost the schemes which are currently being run so overall this will contribute to socio-economic development of rural areas and the bands which you see in uh, your uh, newspaper there is q ka c spectrum which are mentioned these are highlighting that it will have a deep penetration not only in india and also gulf countries as well the eu telesat connect which is a european uh, satellite which has been sent it will cater to europe europe as well as african continent it will provide communication services so this is an overall ambit of this mission and it is likely to further uh, uh, help in connectivity, various parts, and improve the uh, already existing telecommunication services. Now, what are some additional themes which you should cover? Because we have just covered how you have to cover this current affair. The additional theme, which is likely there can be questions can be framed, is the Ariane space. Ariane space is one of the has been touted as the first ever uh, commercial space provider across the globe and in fact India's Apple satellite in 1981 was first time sent through this uh, mission only. So since then it has sent almost 24 uh, satellites and uh, recent uh, one is the 24th uh, in the series. Even the last communication satellite which he had sent through French Guana was to Ariane rocket. It was GSAT-31. It was advanced military communication satellite. So make sure you are familiar with this Ariane term uh, because this uh, in a year only one or two missions involving Indian are sent through Ariane. And then you should uh, give a quick re revision to the types of orbits because you have to understand the current mission uh, has been placed in geosynchronous orbit. So you should be able to differentiate what is the geosynchronous orbit, what is the geostationary orbit, what are polar orbits. In these themes, the three key facts are is the at the uh, uh, you should know about the altitude like in polar orbit it is 1000 kilometers in geosynchronous or stationary it is 35,786 kilometer to be precise or you could round off at 36,000 kilometers then period of rotation uh, you should be familiar with in geosynchronous or stationary it uh, exactly matches earth sidereal rotation period uh, and that is 23 hours, 56 minutes, 4 seconds or you could say 24 hours and the nature of satellites which are typically sent. In polar, there are remote sensing, in geosynchronous or stationary, there are communication services so that round the year you uh, can receive uninterrupted communication services and you can make the best use of these. And also, uh, from mains point of view, such missions have to be noted down from mains point of view as well, because a broader theme can be asked that how space technology is contributing to socio-economic development. Like in my, in my earlier lecture, I have discussed the role how remote sensing satellites like Cartosat, ResourceSat, OceanSat are revolutionizing our socio-economic development. One key paragraph can be framed from such missions as well. Because if you are reading the newspaper, they have highlighted how these communication services can be utilized for rural connectivity and also for the various services which we are relying through these satellites. And this, um, the GSAT-30 will replace INSAT-4A class. Because each of these satellites have set, uh, maximum shelf life of 10 to 15 years and once they are aging, it's better to substitute with the new one. So it will further enhance our communication services. So make sure when you are highlighting the role that how it is helping the uh, connectivity of the rural areas, you could in bracket mention the specific satellite which is doing the purpose. Like in this case, you could quote GSAT-30. It will likely to further enrich your answer. Okay. So this is uh, and uh, the uh, earlier themes uh, remote sensing are are to be highlighted um, in these themes whenever the socio-economic angle is uh, referred. A commercial arm of Antriksh and, and New Space India Limited are already highlighted. So that's another economic aspect. So this is what we have in GSAT 30 and I hope you are clear with all the basic tenets of this topic. Now, let's practice a question. Just read the statements carefully at your own level at first. I am just asking you about which of the following is a correct statement among the following regarding the GSAT-30 mission. 
and in all four th statements i have framed uh, one of the other themes which we had just covered so it, if you are hear, uh, hearing the lecture uh, qualitatively or attentively you could easily make out that the right answer out of given four option is the d1 which pertains to the application aspect of G set 30. It's clearly highlighting that it will be used for high definition television and other telecommunication services. The first statement you can see uh, is why is it wrong? Because the launch site. You have to understand that this mission is not launched from the original main sea uh, spaceport of ISRO. It uh, has been launched from French Guana Kourou. Okay, so first statement gets automatically eliminated. The second statement is trying to confuse you with the launch vehicle. Even though communication satellites are preferred to GSLV or GS, uh, GSLV Mark III mission, but this one we had relied on a commercial, our long-term partner, Ariane Rocket, and so the so second statement is also wrong. The third one is once again or uh, is in wrong direction because after launch vehicle launch site its orbit we have just discussed that it's not uh, communication satellites are always placed at geosynchronous or stationary orbit which is quite high at 36000 kilometers polar orbit is mainly used for remote sensing or earth observation satellites okay. so make sure you are uh, familiar with these orbits altitudes nature of services provided, the broader application and exact examples in each category. Then whatever question UPSC has to frame from this space, you are not likely to make any of the mistakes. Okay, so make sure you are going through the editorials as well as other news from whatever sources are you are relying on GSAT 30. So this is another positive start because once a communication system gets going, other services have a spillover effect. So I hope this session was useful. Keep following our science and tech value edition series and other series which are given in description link. I'll be back soon with another value edition lecture on science and tech. All the best.